This video is going to show you the best way to clean out the RAM on your Fire TV stick or Fire TV cube. No apps are required whatsoever. If you're watching this video as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner to see the full video right now. If you're already watching the full video, hold tight, more details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this video is going to show you the best way to clean out your RAM on your Fire TV stick or cube. Now, why would you need to clean out your RAM? Well, the more free RAM that you've got available to you, basically the faster the stick is going to run and the less buffering you're going to get. RAM is random access memory. That is sort of the temporary memory that's used to process, help the processor process things on your stick or cube. So for instance, when you're loading a video on the stick or cube, the video buffer is stored actually in the RAM, the temporary memory on the stick. It goes through there. The more RAM that you've got available, the more it can sort of store in its buffer, the less likely it is to stop or start buffering. Also, the Fire Stick or Cube is likely to run a lot, lot faster. So anyway, let's just skip to it. So what's the best way to clean it out? Well, as you can see at the top of my screen there, I have got the system X-ray open, which tells you about the RAM. I've got 360 odd megabytes of RAM available out of the 2000 megabytes I've got on this 4K Fire Stick. So not really a great deal left. I've got less than a quarter of the RAM left on here. So what I want you to do is make sure that you're out of any apps, you're back to the, the, uh, the main menu, grab your Fire TV Stick or Cube remote control press and hold the middle button on the remote control whilst pressing and holding the play pause button keep it held down until you get a message banner across the screen saying your device is powering off just like that let your fire stick or cube restart as you can see mine is now restarting hopefully shouldn't take long just give it a minute or so i've got a 4k max those do seem to start pretty quick as you can see so it's just loading and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back into the system x-ray so i'm going to load up the developer tools there we go as you can see i've loaded up the system x-ray again and what have I got? I've got 768 megabytes free. Now it's just jumped up, or it did just jump up to about 811. So I've got just under half the RAM free. Now you're never gonna get all of the RAM cleaned up on here. Obviously other tips I can give you is to uninstall any apps that you can, that you're not using. And to do that, just press the home button on the remote control, go across, to the settings cog, go down to applications, middle button, and then go down to manage installed applications, middle button, and go through the list of apps on here. And not all of them you're gonna be able to delete, but go down and any ones you can uninstall that you don't use, then just highlight it, press the play pause button on the remote control to uninstall the app and then confirm it by pressing the middle button. As I say, not all of the apps you're gonna be able to uninstall. Amazon apps, generally, they don't let you uninstall, although Amazon Music there, I never use that, so let's just uninstall it. Let's press the play pause button, middle button to confirm. That's gonna free up a bit of space on the Fire Stick or Cube as well, and hopefully is gonna free up a bit more RAM because when the stick turns on, it's not preloading Amazon Music in the background. So there you go, as you can see, I've ended up with about 807 megabytes of RAM free compared to around about 350. So I have virtually doubled the free RAM that I had before I restarted. So a good little tip, perhaps once every three or four days, restart your cube or your stick gives the RAM a good old clear out and should keep the stick or cube 
running nice and smooth. I hope you like this video and if you found it helpful, then please help to support this channel. In the description of this video down below, we've got links. If you're in the market for a new VPN, a new Fire Stick or Cube, or even Fire Stick accessories, consider purchasing through those links. There's some great deals down there for you. And also purchasing through those links really does help support this channel. It helps me to dedicate more time to making these videos for you. And don't forget, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not have a look around? I've got thousands of other videos right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.